Here what you're staring at is my lipstick drawer of doom. Now let me just raise my camera and actually show you what's going on in here. It's quite a lot as you can tell. Um, it may be a little bit out of focus but I am going to pull everything out of this drawer and um, declutter and reorganize. Now the fun part is is the fact that there is lipstick organizers actually in here. Yeah I know you really can't tell where any of them are. So we're gonna pull everything out and let's go ahead and work on this drawer. Okay, I just realized for the first little bit of my video there, um, the mic wasn't on. So I'm sorry about the sound quality if it was a little bit off. Um, I've literally just got the biggest pile of lip stuff here. There's lipsticks, there's lip liners, lip glosses, lip whatever, you name it, it's all here. Um, I think I'm just gonna go through and pick and choose what I'm gonna keep versus what I'm gonna declutter because I think that there's just a lot and then I think what we'll do at the end is kind of look at what I have left and if I wanna declutter anything more. But I think I'm just gonna kind of grab and say whether it's gonna be a keep or not um, based on what it is. So I guess what I can start with is my Dior lip oil. This is the lip oil in the shade Rosewood. Absolutely love this. I use this pretty much almost every day. Um, and this always travels in my bag with me. So definitely keeping this one. Another keep is this um, Hangover Pillow Talk, or sorry, not Pillow Talk, Pillow Balm um, lip treatment from Too Faced. I really love this. It's kind of like a liquid lip balm, almost kind of like the Laneige sleeping mask, but in a form with the doe foot. And I really do love how this looks on the lips but also how it feels and I feel like it always nourishes so definite keep and I will repurchase this once I've used it up. I guess along similar lines I've got this one here this is from Huda Beauty it is one of her what are these called it's so shiny like the packaging I can't even really read silk balm in rose quartz I mean this was kind of closed up until recently and I finally just opened it and used it and I really like the effect that it gave on my lips and how it felt so definitely keeping this one for now. Not off to such a great start but I do know there's a lot in this category that will go. This one I have a couple of these somewhere. These are lip glosses from Sydney Grace. Um, this is I mean it's nice but it's not my favorite formula. Let's see and honestly I've just become so picky with glosses like that's pretty it's pigmented but I just don't think I'm gonna use it. I haven't reached for it ever so this is gonna go. I decided to switch lenses because it was just um, having a hard time focusing on my macro lens. So hopefully this one is okay. We'll try this out for this one. So this one here is the Milk Makeup um, Electric Glossy Limp, Limp? <laughs> Lip Plumper. Um, you guys know that I talked about this one in my last declutter if you were around for that. And I never actually ended up using this. So I think that I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. Actually, you know what? No, because this is like a lip plumping one. I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to get rid of the Too Faced one when we come across that one. So um, actually, let me smell those too. Um, no, I'm going to get rid of this one actually. It does, it smells spicy. I don't think it's like bad, but I think it's just the way this is supposed to smell. So yeah. Okay, then we have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have it in the shade Stone. I absolutely love this gloss. It's super pretty, super comfortable on the lips if you like glosses like tower 28 then you would definitely love this type of formula it's just super pretty easy to wear and comfortable so definitely keeping this i have this lipstick from olivia palermo it's still in the box because the box felt too pretty to throw away and it's a super like chubby weighted lipstick um there's the logo and this is in the shade santa fe and this is the color of it. It's a really beautiful kind of rosy nude. There it is, a little swatcheroo right there. Um, I think that I will hold on to this because it's a really like pretty packaging. I just feel like I haven't reached for it enough because I have so much clutter in that drawer. So definitely keeping this one. I don't want to talk about my... Um, proper beauty ones yet so actually I have a bunch of Lisa Eldridge lipsticks in boxes any of the ones that are in boxes I'm definitely keeping they're all new to my collection I just haven't opened them or used them because I wanted to do photos or whatever so I have skyscraper rose here and then I have velvet cinnabar definitely keeping both of those and I'm probably going to take them out of their boxes today actually um but I I won't swatch them or anything because I will do a video with them so 
here's a few more that I'm keeping. These are Rosie Shell uh, Velvet Pompadour and Strawberry Shock. Definitely staying. And then I think I had oh, this one too. This is Velvet Enchantment. I know I have Sorcery somewhere too. It's probably like deep in this pile. Oh, look, here's more. <laughs> Here is more. These are all recent, recent purchases. Actually, no, some of them were in the summertime and I just never got to them. So uh, Velvet, Sor Velvet Sorcery and Velvet Dragon also keeping, obviously. And then I do have some open ones that are around and about that we'll get to as well. Um, I have this lipstick from Odin's Eye. This is in Light Peach. I've used this a few times. Um, I feel like it's just maybe a little too drying and matte for me. It's a really pretty color, but I don't doubt that I don't have that in my collection already. So I think that it's okay for me to let go of this one. Okay, and my Lisa Eldridge lip gloss in the shade Muse. Definitely keeping this, love it. this formula. I would love to have more of these. I just, I don't purchase a lot from like, I mean, I did in the recent months, but I don't like to purchase a lot from Lisa because I always get hit with duties and it's kind of annoying, but I would love to get another gloss. I think a fair is a shade that I would love. So maybe someday, but obviously not now. Um, I have this lipstick, which looks like something else. <laughs> uh, this is from P. Louise. It is in the shade Heights. It's a really pretty kind of, oh, it's really pretty like brown kind of nude tone. But it's just, I don't know, it looks kind of orangey. I'm not really sure about that. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't see myself wearing it. The really beautiful formula though. Uh, here's one from Lisa. This is in Velvet Fawn. One of my absolute favorites. The beautiful kind of brownie nude color. Here, I'll show you that one. That one's just absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. I really, really recommend the Lisa Velvet Matte Formula if you haven't tried it and you're looking for something that's like a matte lipstick that wears really well and reapplies really well but isn't a liquid lipstick this is this is your um life-changing lipstick i have this one from charlotte tilbury this is in bitch perfect i hope i don't get dinged for saying that but it's also just a beautiful nude i think it might be similar to this yeah so it's kind of more pink toned I really do like this one. I have another shade that I think I don't like as much. So I will hold on to this one, but I think the other one that I have, I can't remember the name when we get to it, I'll probably let go of. So here's another Lisa Eldridge. This is in the shade Velvet Blush. Also a really pretty kind of deeper blushy color. Let me swatch that for you right there. It's kind of like a beautiful mauve shade. Absolutely love, definitely keeping. None of my Lisa is going anywhere. It'll never get decluttered. I'll hold on to it forever if I have to. And then here's the last one I think that I have from Lisa for lipstick. This is in Velvet Jazz. It's a beautiful deep red. I don't know if it's deep actually. I should, well, maybe kind of, yeah. It's not like a bright red. Definitely a deeper red right there. Super pretty. Love this one. So I am going to hold on to that. That was the reason I didn't get that new one. I can't remember what the name of it is now, but she came out with a beautiful new red and I passed on it because you know, I just didn't need it. Okay, let's see what else we can go through. So we have this mini lipstick from Urban Decay. This is in the shade, I believe. Oh, it's Back Talk. I have another one somewhere, I think. Or maybe that's in a full size, but I just don't reach for my mini lipsticks that much. And if it's a color I absolutely would love, then I would keep it. But if not, then I think it's just time to let go. And I don't reach for Back Talk at all. So I think because I have Velvet Blush, they're very similar. I think I can let this one go. Okay, so I have four of these. These are um, Estate Cosmetics Lip Thirst Buildable Lip Color. They're kind of like a lip balm. I've never even opened or swatched these. Um, so I think I might just actually gift them because I kept them last round saying I was gonna do a reel and I still thought I was gonna do a reel. And yeah, I don't know. Like this is a brand that sent me PR. I think I've done a couple, maybe like a YouTube video and a reel or a couple of reels or something on some of their stuff. Um, I don't get PR from them anymore. I think I still do have a code, which I'll try and put on the screen if I can remember it. But I don't know. I just, I never gravitated towards them. So I think I'm just gonna let them go and let someone else enjoy them. Okay, this one here is a lip balm thing. It's the Sugar Rush by Tarte or whatever. Like they're little, I don't know, youth line. I don't even know what to call it. Um, I kept this last time and I've used it barely ever. I have other lip balm treatment things that I like to use. So... 
I think that this one's just gonna go, I'll show you what it looks like. So that's just what it looks like. So you haven't really dug in very much. Like I've used this one, I can't find other ones. So I think that I'm just gonna let it go. Plus that sweet vanilla scent is really not for me. Okay, that's just a box. We're gonna pass that along. Um, oh, also I have a Lisa Eldridge lip liner. It's my first lip liner from her, it's in Sorcery. I'll also put this aside, I am keeping that one, but I don't wanna open it just yet. Mm, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna go with all of this. I think this I'm gonna get rid of. This is a lip balm or something, like a tinted lip balm. And it's like a caramel. Yeah, it's in caramel from Juvia's Place. But I just don't like how this looks on my lips. It makes my lips look really orange and I absolutely hate that. So I'm gonna let it go. Speaking of orange, there was another thing I saw here that I wanna let go of. Uh, oh, right here, Chantecaille. This is a Chantecaille lip veil in the shade tiger lily the only reason i bought this and kept it is because of the elephant on the packaging but i am never gonna wear this shade look at this like if i don't even like a tint of orange i am not gonna wear that orange may look great on some people it's just not my color so this one is gonna go okay so this one from colored rain i've only used it probably once or twice or maybe if that i probably swatched it this is in the shade homicide it's a really nice like red liquid lipstick color, but I have Velvet Jazz. I have some other reds that I bought from Lisa, so I don't really need this. Plus I don't read for lip liquid lipsticks at all, so those will probably all go. Some more of those Sydney Grace lip glosses. I'm gonna let both of them go. I'm not even gonna bother swatching them because they're all pretty similar kind of mauvey, pink, nudie toned colors. I mean, they're pretty, but I'm not keeping them, so why bother? Then I have this one. Oh, this is from Skin Glass Beauty. I don't know why I still have it in the box. Sometimes, sometimes I like keeping boxes. I don't know, but I do love this gloss. I reviewed it in a video, uh, which I can link below, but I'm definitely gonna keep this one. It's a really pretty color and I feel like it kind of like fills in your lip lines, um, but it's just like a really sheer uh, application if you want it to be, but you can also build it up to this color here. So definitely gonna keep this. I do really love the formula. Okay, rid of the boxes, okay? Another box. This is for my lip glow. Lip glow what? Oh, for the lip oil, my god. Um, okay, so then I have this Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. It's um, The shade is Trendsetter. I've actually used this a lot. I really like the color of it, but again, I don't reach for liquid lipstick. So this is gonna go. And then another one I've had that's been super like loved, but also is really old is this Melted Matte from Too Faced. Sorry, I'm holding it backwards. In the shade Sellout. Absolutely love this color. I've worn this so much. This was like my go-to lip color when we went to like any sort of like Indian weddings and stuff because it's just so versatile. But Velvet Fawn looks so similar to it. So I can let this go. I'm not gonna use this formula anyway, so don't need it. Um, I can also let go of this here. This is the NYX lip cream in this shade. I think this is London. It's like a beautiful nude. I've owned probably two or three of these and I really love the color, but honestly, I've had this so long and it's so old and it just it needs to go, it needs to go. This one here, this is another Juvia's Place lip balm. Um, I actually kind of like this one. It's like a more oily feeling lip balm. So I'm going to hold on to this one, I think. And we'll see later if I need to get rid of any more. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. Okay, I also have this one from Rare Beauty. This is another like kind of tinted lip balm. I have it in the shade Thankful. Look at how much I've used. <laughs> I absolutely love this one. I think there's another like color on there right now because I probably mixed it with something. Did I? Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, I probably mixed it with something. I just don't know what. So that's the shade right there. I'm still gonna hold on to this because I, I do use it a lot, so. Okay. Oh, Dior Transfer Proof. This is in the shade 200. I just got this pretty recently. I've been using it a lot, actually, you can tell. This has been my go-to lipstick lately. And it's kind of this like warmer brown nude but I absolutely love how it looks on the lips. So definitely keeping this. Honestly, I love Dior packaging. So stunning. Okay, here's another Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Stoned Rose. This is the one that I think I'm gonna let go of. So it looks like this. 
It's just, oh, did that break? Nope, it did not break. I might give that to someone else. It's just too orange, too orange for me. It's right there. It's pretty, but again, that too much warmth to it is not my favorite. So I'm gonna let that one go. Oh, I hope this didn't get on other things. This is from Live Tinted. It is one of their hue sticks. This is in the shade Rise. Now this is in my lip drawer, but I also use this for um, say my cheeks and stuff too. You can also use it on the eyes. This is also very orange, but I actually do like how this looks on the cheeks. So I think maybe I'll still keep it and give it another whirl and see if I like it on the lips. I did use it once and it wasn't too, too bad, but I had to do a very monochromatic look to like it. Uh, but I think I will hold on to it for now because I can also use this on my eyes. Um, and it's still fairly new to my collection. So I'll hold on to it for now, but we'll see how I feel next round, I guess. Also, this one, Juvia's Place, another red. This is in Scarlet. This is another liquid lipstick situation. The doe foot is huge. I find this really hard to apply. Formula's all right. It's a pretty red, but I don't think it's really that unique to my collection. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, you guys are going to have to deal with stained hands. I'm just going to keep swatching on these because I don't have the energy to go get up and wash them and come back. Um, I have three of these lip oils from Kosas. I got them just in a mini set. I just want to smell them because Clean Beauty, yeah, these don't smell so good anymore to me. I'm going to go ahead and toss these. I did use one of the shades quite a bit, but honestly, I like the Dior formula way more. So I think if I'm going to get lip oils, I'll probably just get it in that same formula. Um, but I don't believe in having multiples of it because all of the different tints look the same on the lips, at least in my opinion. Uh, so I am going to get rid of these, but yeah, in the future, I will probably stick to Dior. Can you tell that Dior is like a fan favorite bad brand right here in this household? Um, I have this one from Share Planet. I've never even opened this, I don't think. Like, have I? No, it's like totally clean. I've never swatched it. I think I'm going to pass this along um, for someone else to enjoy. Okay, I have this lip gloss from e.l.f. Um, you can see there's usage there. This is in, this is their lip lacquer. I don't know what shade this is. Oh, it's Wild Rose. Um, and I think I kept this last time because I swatched it and it was really pretty and it felt nice. And while it still does feel nice, I feel like the skin glass beauty does what I want this one to do. So I'm just gonna let this go. Oh, here's another one I can let go. This is a NYX liquid suede. Uh, this is in the shade 20. It's called Oh Put It On. And I kept this when I wanted to do creative looks, but when am I ever gonna wear that? I'm just, I'm not gonna wear that. It's basically black. It's like a purple black lipstick so this is gonna go this one from becca in the shade cupid's kiss i've had this for a while but i absolutely love the color i just don't know why i can't let go of it it's just such a pretty brown nude i think i'm gonna hold on to it and i'm gonna see if i can compare swatches of other things to this and if i choose to declutter it then i'll let you guys know at the end of the video but for now i think i'm just gonna hold on to it plus it smells okay Yep, smells fine. What's this one? This is another e.l.f. This is a sheer matte liquid lipstick in the shade Praline Petal. That's what it looks like. Let me swatch. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I have used this. I was like, I haven't even used this. It has one of these kind of doe foots, which I actually really like. I think they hold color really well. But you can tell it's very sheer. I don't know how it dries. I can't remember, to be honest. I think it dries matte, but it is very sheer. So I'm gonna pass this on. It still smells okay. I think my mom or someone can probably use this. I also have this one from Odin's Eye. This is in Dry Dates. It's a lip tint or something. Stain, lip stain. Um, I've used this once, honestly. I don't love it. It smells okay, but it's just the color is not my favorite, but yeah. Okay, I have two Tower 28 lip glosses. I like these, but I feel like this one especially has gone uh, different in color. They smell, I don't know, they smell weird. I think I'm gonna let go both of them because these don't have a long shelf life from, from what I remember. Let me, s I can't even open this. Okay, yeah, I think those both need to be trashed, unfortunately. 
Um, note to self, I'm not really buying clean beauty anymore because of this. Like, I feel like it goes bad before you can even really get to it. So, um, yeah, clean beauty is just not for me because I'm okay with preservatives in my makeup to make them last longer. I mean, they've been on the market for how long now, right? So I'd rather put that than expired makeup on my face, especially when it comes to things close to my lips and eyes. Um, so yeah, I probably won't be uh, repurchasing these unless I only had like one gloss, but I know I have a couple good glosses, so I won't need this and I won't miss it. Uh, on that note, I also have this clear one, which was like a deluxe little sample from Tower 28. I think the shade is called Chill. And yeah, this one, it doesn't have a weird smell to it, but honestly, how often do I reach for a clear glass, a gloss, like never. So I can always get another one if I want to in a brand that I actually enjoy. So I'm gonna pass that, or not pass it along, I'm gonna trash it, I should say. Okay, and then I have this one from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics or whatever. It is the Sincerely Yours Lip Cushion. That's what it looks like. It's just kind of a, like a, mm, like a lip clay from Kaleidos, I think. And I think I'm probably just gonna keep my Kaleidos ones because like, honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking when I bought this. So um, I'm gonna let this go. Oh, okay, here is my um, Too Faced lip injection. I think that I might hold on to this. Yeah, this still smells good too. So I think I'll hold on to this one if I ever wanna use a lip treatment. We'll see how much I use it by my next like declutter and if it's not that much then we'll get rid of it. I think this I can let go of this the sugar rose rose um whatever this is lip treatment yeah tinted lip treatment. I feel like this uh packaging it loosens on its own which is annoying but this color is not something I'm gonna wear. I wore it a bit but again not my favorite and it's quite old so letting it go. This one here is the Maybelline Vinyl Ink in the shade cheeky i haven't even actually really used this yet this is pretty new and i want to test it out so i'm going to hold on to it oh i have another um jacqueline one this is in the shade where are you lip locked so it's just probably like a more berry tone i think this came with that blush set i bought that's a really pretty color i think i might hold on to that and see if i can um I don't know, see if it matches up with any other colors, but how often am I gonna wear that? Also, is it similar to um, Velvet Blush? Let's see. Mm, they're different-ish, but maybe I have something. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put it to the side and I'm gonna swatch later with other things just to see if um, I like something better. I think that one and the Becca one are gonna go in the maybe pile the heck is this it's so tiny it's so small have I even ever opened this oh my god look how small this is okay I haven't used it but look it's like can you see let me see if I can bring it closer to the lens if you can see there it's like excuse my nails I'm sorry um it kind of got squished I think but it's unused I am gonna I don't know Maybe someone will want to use this. It's so tiny. I just don't know how you would apply it, but it's cute. I have this one too. Like, look at this. This is a mini. Hang on. So this is a mini, right? <laughs> That's a mini. This is a full size. Oh, I think this is a full size. Actually, is this a full size now? I don't know. Maybe this is a new full size. I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. Okay, actually. Okay, so this one, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to see if there's someone that wants that. And this, oh, actually this one, this melt one, this is from their old collection before they switched over. This is in the shade Tomboy. This is the shade. Okay. Look at this. Why did I even, why did I even, this is the shade. Watch. Am I crazy? I'm going to trash that. That smells weird. Okay. And then I have this one. This is unused. This is in the shade Catsuit. It's like a really dark, moody shade. Honestly, I've never swatched this, but I don't have anything like this. I'm gonna swatch it. Screw it. Oh, I might keep that for when I do wanna do darker lips. Okay, I think I'll keep that. ColourPop Star Wars. I don't even think I opened this. Let's see. That's the packaging, really, whatever. I mean, whatever, ColourPop. So it was pretty, but never used it. So I'm gonna actually probably sell this on Poshmark because I think I'm going to get 
uh, rid of some of the other stuff from this collection that I had. I have one of these Dior Lip Glow um, Color Reviver Balms. Mine's in the shade Pink Glow. It's just a really like sparkly pink. Um, let's see if I can show you. It's literally just the faintest pink glow. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. So super pretty. I really like it. Definitely keeping none of my Dior is going anywhere. Okay, then I have this from Smashbox. This is quite old. It's the shade Safe Word. I really liked this shade, but again, because it's so old, I'm going to let it go. And I think Velvet Fawn can do something similar to it for me. So that's going to go in the trash. I have this from Marc Jacobs. This is, oh, this is the lip gloss, I think. Oh, no, this is not. This Well, it is. But anyways, this is a uh, wet your, or the shade is wet your lips. It's an enamored hydrating lip gloss stick. Absolutely love this. The formula is so pretty. The color is stunning. I think I'm going to hold on to this a bit longer. I really miss this brand. I wish they'd come back because I feel like I really would enjoy more from them. Okay, now I have one of these ColourPop, uh, I almost said ColourPop, lip, gl oh no, glowing lip in the shade Indulge Me. I used this a lot, as you can tell. I really do like it, but... I feel like I just don't want to support ColourPop as a brand. It smells okay. I think I might just keep this and use it up, honestly, because I'll probably use it a lot in the summer and I can wear it to work or whatever and just not tag them or whatever. So I think I'll hold on to it for that reason. The box had this in it, which is a Givenchy lip, liquid lip balm or whatever. I really like this. So I'll definitely be keeping it. If you want to see a swatch, I can do it right here. It's just kind of a milky nude color really love that i just love how it looks it's so majestic sorry if i'm holding things backwards but my angle is a little bit weird right now um i have this uh victoria beckham posh gloss and i got it in the shade fizz now i'm going to take this out of the box because i am probably uh, i mean not probably i'm obviously going to be keeping this um but i am going to get rid of the box so this is the shade it's like kind of a movie shade i don't know why it's all looking separated in there I heard this formula is really good. I haven't even swatched it. It's the first time I'm taking it out of the thing. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Really like that color too. Definitely gonna keep that. <laughs> okay, I was keeping this around for a while. I used this a lot. It's the Tardiste um, in the shade Rave. I don't think you can even buy this anymore, but also this is kind of old now and I've used it enough, I think, that I'm probably not gonna really use it that much because I don't know how like or what root of content I want to be creating but a lot of it's not going to be like those funky tutorials anymore so I think I'm going to let that go actually um, I have another one of those Sydney Grace uh, lip glosses so I'm going to get rid of this as well oh, I just swatched I think I've swatched them all anyways but see it's kind of a darker shade yeah pretty but just too pigmented for what I like in a gloss I don't like my glosses super pigmented I also have this from colored rain this is a I think it's a liquid lipstick but it's like a metallic one and I've used it like once and I don't know what I was thinking because I that's not it's not me <laughs> so I'm gonna let that go I used to have one from elf too I wonder if I got rid of it already though I have another Charlotte Tilbury this is the original pillow talk lipstick I've had this for some time, two summers now, three summers, I don't know. Um, honestly, it's just okay. I don't reach for it enough, so I think I'm going to let that go. But the one I like is this one. This is a Pillow Talk as well, but it's in a different version. Um, this Pillow Talk looks different. It's more glossy and almost a deeper. You see that? So I think I'm going to keep this one. And then I have these Fenty lipsticks. I have this green one. I think, honestly, these are just going to go now. There's that green one. This is in the shade, Ma no, Midnight Wasabi. I think I have more of these somewhere. Oh, right here, there's two more. So I have another one in a purple. The purple one is called Violet Fury. There it is. And then I also have Griselda, which this is actually more of a, like a burgundy color. So it's a little bit more like normal, <laughs> wearable-ish. Do I keep that one? Yeah, actually, you know, I kind of, I want to keep it, but I'm like, do I need to? I'm going to let it go. And then here's that one, actually, the e.l.f. one. That's the metallic. That one, it's like that. Similar kind of bronzy, whatever shade. Never going to use it. It's got to go. Okay, I feel like it cut off somewhere, but 
I was talking about this and it's the ColourPop Glossy Lip Balm from the Tinkerbell Collection. I think that I am going to get rid of this. I don't see myself using it. I don't even know if I've used it. I probably only swatched it, but I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have one more of those Fenty Lip sticks oh my god this is in a navy blue i don't really need to swatch this i don't think it's just they're so hard to take off so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter that as well i have this makeup forever lipstick uh in the shade m102 i've like barely used this i got this for my wedding so i've always had a hard time letting go of it during declutters and it's still doing really well smells okay like doesn't smell bad or anything I think I'm still gonna keep it because I just have that um you know what is it the nostalgia with it or whatever you know the sentiment sentiment that's kind of what I wanted to say about that yeah it's sentimental so I do want to hold on to it still um this one from NYX it's a soft matte lip cream again in the shade Budapest this is really pretty but I think this is very similar to velvet blush also similar to that shade up there from makeup forever so i think i can let this go this is from urban decay it's the shade 1993 you know what i love the vice lipstick formula it's so good i love this shade it's more of a cool toned nude so i think that i'm going to keep this one because i really do enjoy using this and i think i have a matching lip liner to it too okay i have four lipsticks from juvia's place let's look at these so i have two from the nude line I have the shade a mauve moment and me so me is more of a brown nude right there and me is more of just a mauve shade I think they're both just lighter actually they're not I mean they're not lighter but like I feel like I have other things I can use it's a nice formula but I think someone else I know might be able to enjoy it a little bit more so I'll pass those along and then these two so this one's a purple. This is Odam. I just, I don't think I'm going to really reach for that, to be honest. I like that brown that I kept rather than this. So I'm going to let go of that. And then this is a red. This is really pretty. It's called a perfect red. And it did really look pretty when I used it. Um, I just think that I might have other reds that I can wear uh, from Lisa and maybe some of the other brands here. I have some reds that I can keep. So I think I'm gonna let this go as well. I have this, oops, I have this from the Mickey Mouse or whatever collection with Dose of Colors. This is a like um, bullet lipstick in the shade 1928. This is the shade, it's very light nude and it's just not something that I can pull off. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that go. I also have this Dose of Colors lipstick. This is in the shade no shade it's from the desi and katie collection it is also very light and very like concealer lips i mean if i just want concealer lips i can just do concealer lips those are like almost the same shade um but yeah i'm gonna let that go do you guys remember when mac like those shades like cream cup and i forgot what the other one is i think it starts with an h they were so popular and those are the ones that people would like gravitate towards crazy times this is uh the Minnie mouse uh bo Botiful liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors. I think Dose of Colors is one of the liquid lipstick formulas I like, but again, the shade is just a little bit lighter than I like to wear, so I'm gonna let this go as well. I have a Makeup by Mario lip gloss. This is in the shade Rose Nude. Honestly, this is really pretty, but I'm just like, do I? Uh, I might keep this because I don't have any other glosses that are like sparkly like that, I think. Yeah, I think I might keep that. Uh, this Pat McGrath one is super similar. This is in Pale Fire Nectar. It might have been, but yeah, those are super similar. One's more pink, one's more like orangey. I think I'm gonna keep both. I mean, it's a mini. I'm gonna keep both. Uh, this lipstick is from Colored Rain from the Safari Rain collection. It's Meishi Rain, the shade. Uh, it's a nude. And Colored Rain was a brand that I was really into back in 2020. But I think I have shades like this, so I can let this go. This one is from Artist Couture in the shade Power Play. I used this recently, and actually it was really pretty on. It's like a kind of cool tone neutral brown. I really do like that, so I think I'll keep that. I have another lipstick from Melt Cosmetics. This is in the shade Tease. Let's see, I've swatched this one before. Let's swatch it again. Oh, there it is. It's a little deeper version of Power Play when I just swatched. But I almost think I like the Power Play finish more because it's um, more of that satin finish. This is more matte. Do I need to keep both? I really don't. 
I'm going to get rid of the melt one because I kept the darker melt. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have two of these Stila glosses. Um, they're quite old. This one I'm going to get rid of because I've obviously used it. This one is untouched, I think. Yeah, it's not even been like squeezed up the thing. So I'm going to give this to someone to use to enjoy a little more than me. I bought this. It was on such a like whim and I was like, I'm going to do a reel with this. I'm going to do blah, blah, blah. This is in the shade Cookie Jar. It's one of the Fenty Cream gloss bombs. Honestly, I don't really like the gloss bomb formula that much. And that color, meh. I'm going to let this go. Maybe someone else can love on it. Someone else being someone I know because I'm not going to give that to anybody that I don't know. Uh, this is a liquid lipstick from Makeup Forever in the shade 103. I've worn this quite a bit because back then I didn't have very many liquid lipsticks, but now it's just like not really a shade I reach for, so I'm gonna let that go. I have this one from Melt, the liquid lipstick in the shade Rebound. I actually do like their liquid lipstick formula, and I've used this before. I think I used it when I did my Patrick Ta Rose um, palette video. There it is. It's really pretty. It is really pretty, but I feel like it's very similar to what velvet blush would do also i don't enjoy the smell of that at all so i'm gonna let that go see if my mom or someone wants it i have this one from m cosmetics this is in the shade morning mocha i really like this and i use this actually quite a bit this is really not a liquid lipstick it's more of like that moussey formula for now i'm gonna put this to the side because i think this is something i'll want to compare to my um kaleidos ones so if i have a shade similar then I can get rid of one or the other. I am not going to do lip liners yet. I'll do lip liners towards the end. This is a lip lipstick, sorry, from Visanti. It's in the shade High Time. This is what the shade looks like. It's a really cool bullet. It's so different than some of the bullets that come out. Um, this is a very like brown light nude but this one actually works for me so I'm going to hold on to this one so that I can get that kind of concealer lips effect that I got from those Desi Katie ones that I got rid of. Um, I have two of these, where's the other one? From M Cosmetics. I really like this actually. This is like the glowing lip formula that's from ColourPop. So I have that shade. And then I have this shade. I think I'm gonna keep both. Actually, no. Am I gonna keep both? Yeah, I'm going to keep both. I do reach for these actually a lot in the summertime, so I'm going to hold on to them for one more summer, and then we'll let them go. I have this liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors. No, this is a lip gloss. This is a lip gloss, I think. This is in the shade One and Only. Oops. Yeah, this is a lip gloss, nude lip gloss. I think I'm going to hold on to this one. I actually really do enjoy their lip gloss formula, and I think I have one more, and I'll hold on to that one too. It's the Made You Blush lip gloss. This one's more of a mauve shade. I think because I got rid of those Sydney Grace ones, this gives me that same kind of effect if I want it. So I'll keep these because I have a brown nude and a pink nude. Okay, I have some glosses. Let's, oh no, I have a liquid lipstick actually from Dose of Colors. This one is in my main. I think this was also a part of the Desi and Katie collection. This is a like a warmer toned brown. I don't think I'll really reach for that shade, so I'll get rid of that one. This is... The box to that glowing lip <laughs> gotta go get out of here boxes um okay and then i have some glosses from pat mcgrath oh no actually so one of them i've already kept then i have these two this was in the shade divine rose okay i don't know what happened in there there's no stopper in here this is gonna go in the trash because look it's already do you see that it's already gooping out the outside okay let me clean that first what a mess that is trash yeah that's going in the trash and then i have this one this is from not from this is the dare to bear lip gloss and it's a really light pink and i think i might keep that because i don't have any other shades like it so i'll only keep two pat my breath because that other one is broken um and then i have this lip gloss this is anastasia beverly hills it's just a mini size and i have it in the shade toffee it's just more of a cooler toned brown but I think if I want to I can get that same effect from the dose of colors one I kept so I'm gonna get rid of this do I have any more lip glosses I don't think so um I have this mini YSL thing this is in the shade I don't know because it doesn't say 
It is really vibrant, really pretty. I've used it maybe once, but I'm gonna pass that along to my mom or someone. And then I have MAC lipsticks. So I have the shade Whirl, which is actually one of my favorites. I've just never reached for it because I can't ever see it in my drawer. So I think I'm gonna keep Whirl. And then Velvet Teddy, which is a favorite as well. But I think that Velvet Teddy and Velvet Fawn from Lisa is probably similar. So I think I'll pass this off to my mom or somebody. And then the last one I have is Hug Me. It says not for sale, so I don't even know, like, was this, what is it, not for sale? It might have come with a set or something. I can't remember. I don't know. But that almost makes me want to not keep it because I don't know. So I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to trash this one. Okay, there is literally not that much more left. So let me see if I have it all together so we can see. Yeah, there's literally just this much left. So let's just go through this and get it out of the way. So this is a lip palette that I got from RMS Beauty. It was a free gift with a purchase when I bought some blushes from them during the holidays. It's really pretty packaging. That's what, it, that's what the back of it looks like. And here are the shades inside. Honestly, like I would love to keep this because I love the idea of it, but it's not something that I would actually reach for. So I think that I can actually pass this off to somebody that might get more love with it. And it came with this brush, so that'll go off to someone else. Then I have this lipstick. And it stays in the box because the box is so pretty, but it's from Palace Identity. I just thought this packaging was beautiful. That's what it looks like. I showed this during my last um, declutter video too. So it's just a dragon lipstick and it's very like ornamental. Um, this is in the shade M10 and I haven't even used it. And it's got all this like engraving on it, if I can show you. It's got all this beautiful engraving. Oh. Hang on, I keep moving away from the screen. So it's got all this beautiful work on it. And that kind of makes me not want to use it because it's just so pretty, but I think I just need to make use of it. So I'm gonna keep this for now. I'll try to open it. Should I not keep it in the box? Maybe I should just like get rid of the box. Do I get rid of the box? Maybe I get rid of the box. I'm gonna get rid of the box so that I actually make a point to use it a big move for me oh shoot I put it in the declutter pile that was wrong <laughs> oops okay so then let's go through let's do Pat McGrath because I have a bunch of minis from Pat and I have one full size okay um actually before I even do that I have from Colourpop these two one is a lippy sticks and one is a lip liner. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I bought them because I thought I was gonna do more ColourPop videos and then ColourPop pulled some crap, so no. Um, okay, so we're gonna go through these Pat McGrath. So let's look at these white tube ones, I guess. These are the sheer color bombs. So I have it in the shade Flush 3. So Flush 3 looks like that. Oops, sorry, I keep going out of frame, guys. Um, and then I have Blow Up, which is like a nude. I think I'm gonna get rid of, actually, I'm gonna get rid of that, let me see. I don't know yet. And then I have the Clear, which I've used, but like it's so mangled, look at that, it's like slanted backwards. Um, I think that I'll keep the two tinted ones and I'll get rid of the Clear one. Okay, and then I have three mini lipsticks. Uh, I have Flesh 3, and it's got all the wax blooming on there, as you can see, like, here, I'll close up. See that? It's all wax blooming. Like, if I was to touch it and rub it, like, it just should come off. Yeah. Yeah. So, these have, like, wax blooming going on. It's not mold or anything, if you're worried about that. So, that's the shade. I think I'm going to keep that. It's really pretty. I just need to reach for these a little more. Then I have Omi which is like a lighter or mid-tone nude, actually. I think this one I can get rid of because I have velvet blush and it feels pretty similar. And then this one I have 1995, which also doesn't feel too unique to my collection. So I think I'll keep flush three and I'll get rid of those two. Then I have two of these. I think I already got rid of one. Um, I have Elson two and soft core. So soft core is this kind of pinky shade. I don't think I really like that color for me, so I'm going to get rid of soft core. But I think I might keep Elsin too. That's such a pretty red. It's so bright and vibrant. And I wanted Velvet Morning, and this reminds me of that kind of 
look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that, I think. And then I have, make sure that's all the way down, oops. And then I have this one, which is Elson 3, which this one actually Betsy had sent me. And it's really pretty, but I'm just not sure how old this one is. But I do love the packaging of it. I think I might hold on to it for now. And maybe if I compare my reds someday, I can go ahead and declutter. Next, I think let's do these like nude ones from Kaleidos because these are very, I think, similar to one another. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. So this is Tara. Okay, this one is Tara. I love this formula, but I don't need to keep all of them. And then this next one is going to be Adobe. And then the next one is going to be Sienna. And then lastly, I have Dune. Okay, and then I'm going to bring back the Morning Mocha from M Cosmetics. And I just want to do... Yeah, okay, so... It's similar to Adobe. I think that I'm gonna get rid of the M Cosmetics. And then I will keep two of the ones from this collection. And I think I'm gonna keep Adobe and Dune because they're the most different, but also the ones that I would wear the most. So I'm gonna get rid of this one here, Tara, and this one, which was Sienna. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so keeping two. And then I have these ones, which were from like, I don't know, I don't know what the collection's even called. Um, these ones are a little bit different, I guess. This one is the shade Mahogany, which is like super deep brown shade. I just don't feel like I'll use that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have this one here, which is called Dahlia. That's really pretty. I think I might hold on to that one. This one here is Cactus Flower pretty but I don't think I'll use it in this formula so I'm gonna get rid of that and then the last one I have is agave which you know what actually I haven't even swatched this one this is a very like teal like turquoise color so I'm gonna go ahead and just pass that along although I don't know who I'm gonna pass that to because nobody I know wears colors like that so okay I think next we can go through like my prop of beauty lipsticks these are gonna be hard because there's like so many literally have so many but like I almost am just inclined to get rid of like all of them like who what okay anyways so I think this shade for sure is gonna go this is called made it but it's a very like orange orange color you guys know that I don't use that so definite declutter empower is like a deep brown but I think that because I kept that one that I had in the melt Cosmetics, I don't need to keep this. Then I have Believe It, which is like, I guess a different toned brown. I'm not gonna wear that, it looks like mud. Then I have Profits, which I think this is actually one of my favorites. So Profits looks like that. Profits is this one here. I think I will keep this. Focused, I think this one's also kind of like a weird brown. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear that, so I'll get rid of it. Um, this is Her Magic, it's more of like a mauve tone. I think I have enough shades like that. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is in the shade Driven and it was all the way up so that's not good. Oh because it's broken. Okay well I'm gonna throw that one in the garbage. <sighs> Closer. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. That one's a very cool toned but I have 1993 from Urban Decay to do what I want from that. Moxie. It's like more of a pinky shade. I feel like I have enough shades like that, so Moxie's gonna go. Uh, Prowess. Prowess. This has not even been swatched. I'm gonna pass that along to somebody else. Uh, Limitless. Mm, too orange. I'm gonna pass that off. Uh, Finesse. I think actually maybe I like this one more than, or what's the one I kept? Profits? I think I might keep Profits and Finesse. Let's see. No, actually, let me see. So this is Victress. Then I'm gonna swatch finesse next to that. And then I'm gonna switch, uh, swatch, switch, swatch profits. Okay, I think profits is gonna go. And then what's this one? Fighter. Yeah, fighter is probably gonna go. Yeah, fighter is gone. I'm not gonna wear that. I think out of these two, I'm gonna keep finesse, which is the middle. Sorry, the middle one. I'm gonna keep finesse and I'm gonna get rid of Victress. So I only kept one. I got rid of all of those other ones. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly wash my hands and then we'll go through all my lip liners because that's all that's left here. Okay, so this is all we got left. I'm gonna open these two up actually because these ones I'm gonna keep. Um, 
because they're new, but also a type of pencils that I actually like. Ugh, my God, they're from Bodyography. I hadn't gotten rid of boxes, but I'm gonna get rid of those now. Um, honestly, I bought them because I wanted to hit shipping, free shipping, so I got Rosewood and Timber. So there's Rosewood and there is Timber. Oh, that's Timber on the bottom. Definitely keeping both of those. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get rid of these two from Juvia's Place. They're just too creamy and I don't like that type of lip liner. Um, I'm also gonna get rid of these two from Ace Beauté and also this one from P. Louise because this is also that same type of creamy formula that I don't enjoy. I just realized this was up there, but this is my Patrick Ta lip liner. This is also not a regular conventional pencil. Oops, sorry. But I actually do like the formula of this. It feels like a normal pencil, so I'm gonna keep that one. Honestly, this shape isn't my favorite, but it's still good. Um, the Melt Lip Liners, these two from the Perfectionist Lip Line are my favorite. I have the shade Sepia and Caffeine. I will definitely be keeping both of these. So Sepia is like similar to the Patrick Ta, um, but I don't buy lip liners a lot, so I think I'm gonna keep those. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. And then 1993 from Urban Decay, I will also keep because it's matching that lipstick that I have and I do love this one. It's a little more pink than the um, Patrick Ta and Sepia. So, you know, actually, I think because the Patrick Ta and the Sepia are so similar, I think I might let Patrick Ta go. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to give it to my mom or someone. Um, okay, let's see. I have some Charlotte Tilbury here. I have, what is this one? Pillow Talk. This one I think is actually, look, look at that. It is actually not even good. So I get rid of that. Then I have the shade Walk of Shame. I got rid of the lipstick, but I had kept the lip liner, oops, in case I could use it for anything. And I think I can still use it because I don't really have a lot of this type of red, but I did buy some from Lisa Eldridge. So I might keep those. This is Scandal from melt is it melt yeah it's the all day every day liner it's like an orange come on it's like an orangey red i just don't know if i'm going to use that so i'm going to get rid of that actually i have milani spice this is one of my favorite lip liners i think that i'm going to keep this and use it until it dies because i reach for it so much um and then i have this one from nyx in natural which also same thing I'm gonna keep that and use it up. I love using things up. I, I think it's very satisfactory when you use things up. Okay, this is another one from Melt and this is another one from Melt. So this is in the shade Head Bang, which I can barely swatch, but it's right there. And I feel like it's so similar to those other browns. I'm gonna let that one go. Then I have this one in the shade Cinder, which is like more of a pink. I don't really have anything else I think like that, so I will keep that one. Then I have Pat McGrath in the shade Buff, more of a nudie pink, so I will keep that. And then I have another one from Melt. Wow, so many Melt ones in the shade Foxy. This is a cool toned brown, but I think it leans similar to what I have from those other ones that I kept, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have this one from NYX in the shade, where are you, oh, New Truffle. I do like this one, but let's see how similar it is. Mm, it's a little bit deeper. I think I'll keep that one actually, because it's kind of different than the other ones. I think that's what I wanted from Sepia, but Sepia is actually warmer than I thought it, would, it was gonna be for Melt. Um, and I have two MAC ones. I have Nice and Spicy, which is like kind of brown. Really like that one. I use it quite a bit, obviously. And then the other one that I have is in Bittersweet, which I feel like is it similar to, it is similar to Caffeine. Do I keep Caffeine or do I keep, keep Bittersweet? I feel like I don't need both. I think I'm going to keep bittersweet and I'm going to get rid of caffeine because I didn't buy this one. I think I, this came in a mystery box and, oh, but they're both so, <laughs> they're both so pretty. They're both like, you know, regular pencils, just what I like. I just want to try the MAC one again. Yeah, they're not different enough. They're like identical. I think that I'll keep the MAC and I'll pass this along. I'll let someone else enjoy it because really, do I need two of the same color? No. Do I need it because it's in different formulas? No, so I'm gonna let it go. Now, going back to these two lipsticks that I had in my maybe pile, one was the Jaclyn Hill in the shade Lip Locked and the other was the Becca Cupid's Kiss. 
honestly, the Becca one is just so old. I need to let it go. I need to be okay letting it go. I know it's a beautiful formula and I loved it so much, but it's time. She's gonna go goodbye. Lastly, <laughs> this one. I think I'll be okay without this color in my collection, to be honest. I don't think I'll miss it. So I am gonna go ahead and pass this along. Okay, let's see what I'm decluttering versus what I'm keeping. Okay, so I have a total of 67 lip products here that I'm keeping, and that's from gloss to lip balm to uh, lip oils, um, lip liners, all that kind of stuff. And I think it's a much more manageable <laughs> amount for me. I mean, it's still a lot. It's still a lot, a lot. Uh, but I think that I may be able to actually make more use of it and actually be able to see my lip products in my drawer <laughs> and be able to use them. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, let's go take a look at how much I actually decluttered because I'm interested to see. So <laughs> I'm getting rid of a lot of lip products. This is 115 lip products that are going, 115. So I kept what, it was 67. I'm getting rid of 115. That is crazy, first of all. I just wanna see 115 plus 67. That was 182, right? So 115 divided by 182. I'm getting rid of 63% of my lip products, which to me is actually really, really good. I'm feeling really good about this. I was able to fit my stuff into two to three containers and that drawer is gonna be so easy for me to access now. So. I am so happy about this. I know, you know, there's a lot of like money, waste, whatever, but some of these products, because they're new, like these will get rehomed. Other ones that are lightly used will get rehomed with people that I know um, that are close to me that I'd be okay giving them to. And yeah, so there is my declutter. I feel like this one went really, really well. I'm hoping that my eyeshadow palettes and like my eye products go this well as well because that one, um, you know, will be a part one and part two probably because I think I'll go through my eye drawer and then I'll do my eye palettes in one. And I know I'll be getting rid of a lot of those, but I am just curious to see how that one's gonna go. So yeah, thank you for sticking this out with me. Hopefully it wasn't too long. We'll see when I get to editing the footage. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing well and that you're staying safe and being kind. And if you enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below and leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about this declutter. Would you have done anything differently or would you have done the same? I want to know your thoughts. I want to know everything. All the details in the comments below would be awesome because I love talking to you guys in there. And I'll see you guys in the next declutter. So until then, bye-bye. Um,